All right. I've seen over the past few years that not everyone knows what a yard is. And even with my highly descriptive, excellently written blog post, people are still having trouble with yardage. It's understandable. It's a unit of measure. And unless you're looking at something up close in person, you're not really going to get a good grasp on how big it is. I've made a few piles, four to be exact, ranging from one yard to four yards. Now one yard is 27 cubic feet. This is one yard of pine mulch. To give you a better perspective, it'll show me standing next to it. I'd say it's about six feet across, maybe five feet wide, probably about two feet high. It's not a very large amount. I spread it out for you with the machine. It was very quick, unlike most of you when you're spreading it with a wheelbarrow. And it goes probably 15 feet by 6 feet, probably from 3 to 4 inches in depth. That's one yard. Now we know from my excellently written blog post that as a general rule, one yard will cover 100 square feet about two and a half inches deep. So there we have one yard. I'm trying to put this in the best perspective I can. That's a premium pine mulch. Now if we go to two yards, obviously it's double in size. Try to put the one yard into focus also. One yard and two yards. This is the Canadian red cedar mulch. I'm again going to try to give you a glimpse of me standing next to it, what it looks like about the same width as the other, maybe about seven feet by seven feet, but this is about three feet high. It's two yards, because one yard will cover 100 square feet at two and a half inches deep. We know this will cover about 200. We go to three yards. I'm doing my best to give you a good look at yardage, because I know over the phone a lot of you are unsure and probably end up ordering either too much or too little in a lot of cases because it's hard to visualize yardage. That's three yards. I'd say it's about eight feet by eight feet, probably four feet high. It's a decent sized pile. Four yards, it's incrementally bigger. I know this is amazing stuff. This is the gold cedar mulch. I'd say it's probably four feet, probably 10 feet by 10 feet. And as we add yardage to it, it's adding 27 cubic feet every time. I'm just doing my best here to give you guys a good understanding of what a yard is, the size of it. Because I deal with yardage every day and it's still not the easiest thing to eye up. So we have this pile, four yards, Let's move over here three yards, two yards, and finally one yard. It's usually good to order a little extra, maybe if you compute three yards, order three and a half, because in general we don't always spread it at two and a half inches deep. Some spots might be three and a half, some spots might be two and a half, it's always extra, better to have a little bit extra rather than run short, as many of you may have realized. So these are our mulch piles. is probably the best way I can give you to fully understand this. I don't think I'm going to waste any more time talking about these one, two, three, and four yard piles because you could clearly see them. One last look at all of them. And again, one yard will cover 100 square feet at two and a half to three inches. Okay? All our products are sold by the yard, obviously. Not by the ton, like some places. There's our machine again. One yard is two scoops of this machine bucket. It's a measured bucket. That's what most of the small orders are loaded with, small being under four yards. So if I stand in this bucket, you can get a good idea for what a half yard might be. This is my foot. This is the bucket. It's probably 18 inches high. It juts out about two feet. 
it's nice having a small bucket like this because it can get into all the small trucks and it makes loading S10s, Honda Ridge Lines, even the smallest vehicles a lot easier. Some companies don't have these small machines and they regret it when they damage people's vehicles with a big loader. So there we have it, standing in the premium mulch so they spread out the one yard. That was two buckets of this machine. Like I said, it goes out about 15 feet. I sprinkled it so some areas, as you see, are only an inch or so, just a coating, and some are probably about four inches. That's one yard. Again, our piles one, two, three, and four. And I hope this helps you guys ordering mulch. Again, you can just give us your dimensions and we'll calculate this for you. Obviously, it's just length times width and whatever depth you'd like to go. So if it was 100 square feet at 2.5 inches, 1 yard, 100 square feet at 5 inches, 2 yards, so on and so forth. Again, this is Sean at Grillo Services, helping you determine yardage. Take care.